So today in this video, we are looking at what the HTP Pro Pulse 220 MTS, and for that matter, the HTP Pro Pulse 200 can do on the low end when welding aluminum. We're looking at that second and a half, let's say, delay in arc precision when you first light it. And then we're going to weld some thin material, about 60 thousandths thick, 16 gauge, 1 16th of an inch. And we're doing this with pulse and without pulse, like a, a, a joint, like a corner joint. And we're filling a few holes in material without backing to see what it can do, how you're dialing it down to achieve that lower end. Aluminum, unknown grade. By the surface finish, it looks like it could be a 5000 series. Thickness one and a half millimeter, sixty thousandths. Hole diameter five and a half millimeter, just under uh, just under a uh, quarter inch. This guy here, eleven point eight millimeter, just under half inch. So what I'll try to do is I'll try to weld the holes with the propuls with no backing. And I'm also going to weld this to a thicker part. Right here, this guy is three and a half millimeter. That's just over three and a half millimeter. That's just over um, eighth inch. So I'm going to weld the thick to the thin. And I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna simulate this being like a small piece. And rather than welding this with pulse on there, I'm gonna do a quick run without pulse. So the idea here is the machine really struggles on very short runs like half inch, three quarter inch welds. If you weld some spigots on some fencing or railing. So I wanna find a solution for that. We recorded that one and this one's gonna be too low. I'm gonna do it anyways. So here you see the weld. The one the one you see on the bottom there that was the one you didn't see an arc shot. The one above it is the one you saw the arc shot it came out pretty clean. And the ones on top you see they weren't quite right yet. I wasn't there with my settings yet. That's why I made this video to figure out these settings, to tell you the settings that I use. So hopefully it saves you some learning curve. You see the back side, the hole is filled pretty well. So now let's go over some settings here and let's look at this. I had 53, 56 wire loaded in 035 diameter. I was using the PAW program, precision aluminum welding at 133 inches a minute. My start parameters were normal, hot start turned off by normal, I mean 100%, 0.1 second. So hot start is turned off, slope down is turned off. So and although I said we're going to do this without pulse, I'm going to demonstrate how to do this with pulse, like how not to do it first. So enjoy that one. So as you look on this, you see the start is on the left, I weld it from left to right, pushing the wire. But the start is kind of not ideal, then it was too cold, and then it gained some heat in there, and it's really hard to control that heat. Yeah, 
that, but it, it looks right. Sounds like it's halfway between short circuits. But yeah, it's it kind. It's not a full spray spray. Oh, it has some of the bolts. Bolts. yes. I took the pulse off. No, you took out two bolts. As well. Yes, but because look at the wire diameter. The reason I took the two volts out is not because I need to take two volts out, it's to make it match that O35 wire right in there. So as you saw, the results look all right, and here's the trick. See, aluminum 5356 364th program we're still using O35 wire in the 364th program. So what I'm doing is I'm welding with zero inductance. I have 100% start speed, which normally you would never have using actual 364th wire. But because we're using O35 wire, same pinch, same pre-flow, post-flow. And then the wire feed rate on this is 401 inches a minute and negative 2 volts to make up the difference between the larger and the smaller wire diameter. The program is meant for a wire much larger than what I'm using, so I have to make an adjustment there. So my actual arc voltage is 18.5 or 18.6 volt at that 401 inches per minute.